These two concepts, that units can cancel algebraically and that multiplying by one doesn't change anything, these two concepts can be used to solve any unit conversion. And I'll show you exactly how in some examples. We'll do some easy ones first. In this example, we're told to convert 12.3 meters per second to feet per second. And here's how I do it. I start by writing down what I'm given, 12.3, the thing that I'm trying to convert to something else. In this case, it's 12.3 meters per second, and write the unit on there. Now, I'm going to multiply by 1, but instead of just writing the number 1 here, I'm going to write a fraction that's equal to 1. And for this fraction to be equal to 1, I have to have something on the top and something on the bottom that are equivalent to each other. And I know that 3.28 feet is equal to 1 meter. So I'm going to write 3.28 feet up top and 1 meter down on the bottom. Now notice what happens here. I have this meter up top and this meter on the bottom. Those two are going to cancel out. And when those cancel, the units that remain are feet up top and seconds on the bottom. So I have feet per second for my unit, which is what I wanted. And then my answer is going to be 12.3 times 3.28 feet per second. So you can pull out a calculator at this point. 12.3 times 3.28 comes out to 40.3. That's what I got from multiplying those two numbers. And then I keep my units here, feet and second. Feet in the numerator, seconds in the denominator. And the, the meters are gone because those have canceled out. Now, I, to do this, to make this work, I deliberately had to choose a fraction here that's equal to 1. So this thing is equal to 1. So when I multiply, I have this much speed, 12.3 meters per second. I've multiplied it by 1, so that hasn't really changed the speed. It doesn't make it any faster or any slower. It's still the same speed. So 40.3 feet per second is the same speed as 12.3 meters per second. But by setting up my fraction this way, I've caused certain units to cancel out and certain units to remain, such that the units are changed into what I needed them to be. In this case, I was told to make them into feet per second, and that's what I have. Now, you could do this incorrectly. You could have said this, 12.3 meters per second, and the technique here is to always multiply by 1. And that's true every time you do one of these unit conversions. You always multiply by 1. But if you set it up incorrectly, watch this. I know that 1 meter is equal to 3.28 feet. So this fraction is equal to 1 because the top, 1 meter, is the same thing as the bottom, 3.28 feet. But notice here I have meters and meters up top. That's going to give me a meter squared up top and I have seconds times feet down on, on the bottom in the denominator and that doesn't really make any sense. What's a second times a foot? So this doesn't give me the unit that I needed to get. So this is the incorrect way to set up the problem. You don't want to do it that way. You always need to choose the fraction that you use here such that certain units cancel and certain units remain.